All right, bud. Here's your chance. Play it cool. Hey, Alexis. Oh, hey, Drew. What's up? Oh, not much. Just, you know, chilling. Just got this two-hour gap, so I'm just kind of hanging out. Really? I have a two-hour gap, too. No, you don't, doofus. Your class starts in 30 minutes. Oh, would yeah. you look at that? You know, most people have a two-hour gap. It's never one or three. It's always two. <laughs> I know, right? Wander about doing God knows what. Now, one hour, one hour is perfect. That's the <laughs> sweet spot. I think my biggest regret this semester is this two-hour gap. I mean, if I had known about this huge flaw in the educational system, Drew, I would have just... Drew, stop talking. Um, do you want to hang out? Yeah, I, I was going to ask you that. Cool. Um, what's there to do for two hours? Think, Drew. Think. Copy! You copy here? Copy? Why are you talking like that? Listen, man. I'm just here to sell my coffee, go home, and watch reruns of Three's Company. What can I get you? I just want two of your coffees. Just two? How would you like that? Uh, how do you like your coffee? Well, I mean, I like mine with sugar. And... I was asking her. Oh, um, plain? Plain? Yes? You mean like black? Yes. Uh, me too. I'll take a black coffee. Two black coffees. I'm gonna that. Oh, right. right. Here. Thank you. Thank you. She likes this stuff? Oh, I'm starting to question her judgment. Unless she likes me, of course. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment, I have to use the little boy's room. Okay. Oh, it's uh, it's out of order. I'm sorry. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, I'm pretty quick. I don't like to spend too much time in the bee room. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, literal shit. <laughs> I actually have to use the restroom too. <laughs> Sorry. If she leaves, I'll never forgive myself. Oh, hey, I wasn't. You're gaslighting me right now. You don't even know what gaslighting means. We just celebrated our one year anniversary. I booked an Airbnb, made the dinner reservation and everything. I told you how he gets when I have stomach issues. He gets angry and said, It's always something with you. There's always something wrong. I did everything right. I ate things that I knew wouldn't upset my stomach. I, I didn't overeat. We had a plan. 
We were going to get ready at the Airbnb, chill, drink, and head to the restaurant. <laughs> nope. I spent hours before dinner in pain, and you know, the comments started small. Is this really how we're gonna spend our anniversary? And at dinner, he kept pressuring me to drink in between trips to the bathroom. I, I can't even look at the pictures from that night. After dinner, we spent the rest of the night in the room where he proceeded to yell at me. I knew this was gonna happen. It's always something with you. It's such a waste of money. We could have stayed at home and been in the same position for free. You didn't pack any lingerie or plan anything sexy. Do you even care about me or this relationship? How are you doing today? Better than before. We're working on things and my stomach issues have gotten a lot better, so, you know, less to fight about. But there's something else. <sighs> he went to visit his friend in Arizona. He was drinking for three days straight and I barely heard from him. I think something happened. But he swears nothing happened. Do you believe him? He says he can't lie to me. He's honest. He's told me I'm the only girl he hasn't cheated on and would never. He keeps saying that I did something on my girl's trip. He knows me. I would never do that. But I think he did. If you think he did and he has a history of cheating, why stay with him? I don't want to be lonely again. Nothing I do is enough. I don't dress sexy enough. Or even have sex enough. But how can I when he makes me feel like this? We fight all the time. Everything and he says right. stuff I, I like... Why would you say that in front of everyone? I don't You're care. A fucking asshole. Oh, it's always something huge that I do that you would have to recover from. Or something like, Come on. Come on, it's not like you have to do anything. You just have to lay there. And then one day I did. Except I didn't know. You know, I was sleeping. When I woke up, he told me he had touched me. I, I felt disgusting. I, I should have known, I, I should have woken up. You are not responsible for any of his actions. How could you have known? Well, he's done something like that before. He made it sound so normal. I, I thought it was normal. I listened to him for so long. I think I lost sense of what is okay and what isn't. I feel like his voice became my inner voice. But it's not. And you have to differentiate his from your own. But, but how do I separate them? I've spent so much time ignoring my instincts. But they're there. Which means you're not powerless. I love him. But I don't want to be treated this way anymore. Don't let your love for him blind you. No one can tell you when enough is enough. <sighs> I did it. We were talking on the phone and he said, Our relationship is like this because of you. You can't get past everything I've done to you. I know that I can change, but it's your fault that you can't forgive me. You're right. I can't. And I don't want to. Enough is enough. How do you feel? Free. I met someone, and I think I finally had that moment where I was with him and no longer thinking of you.
is it you want exactly? It's not what I want, it's... What he wants, yeah. Please excuse my lack of formalities. One last job. He wants it done, he wants it done soon, and he wants it confirmed. Oh, yay! He wants it done on his time, how kind. Take a seat, you're making me uneasy. Apologies, I don't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. Of course you don't. What is it? Exactly this job? Is it the head of the Moreno family, new enforcer of another family? There better not be a witness. Things like that should have been handled before they became a witness. I don't handle those. Look, we know you don't like dealing with innocents or witnesses. We know... Oh, it's we. No, just a second ago it was he. Who is this job for then, bud? Let me ask you something. <sighs> oh boy. This should be good. Bring it on, messenger boy. You aren't even the first choice on anyone's list to get a job like this done. You're inconsistent, you're selfish, and yet you sit here, retired, thinking that you're in charge. Why is that? He? It's he? Again? It's a matter I work for the guy, as you did once. I took this job because I know how to handle you. Handle me? You know what I mean. You're incredibly hard to work with. I was liaison of the family. I worked with you more than anybody else. The other families? They think you're a ghost. I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or not. Okay, look. Can we start over? I feel like we got off on the wrong track. By all means, Leo. Continue. He believes this to be of utmost importance, and he would like it taken care of. Soon. How much? Ten. Ten. Million. He wanted to avoid any negotiations. That's absurd. So your answer is a no. I don't remember saying that, but you haven't told me what the target is, which to me is a red flag. Please, by all means, tell me what the issue is. What's the job? He wants a certain pest taken care of. This doesn't work for me, sorry. And why not? Why would he want his own daughter out of the picture? Adoptive daughter. The answer is no. So the rumors are true? You two were an item? I don't think that's anyone's business. She should be left alone. I'm sure, I'm sure she just wanted to get away from everything. Any time I was around her, I felt at home. I couldn't stand the abuse she went through. And I couldn't stand it, but what could I do? She ran, hoping I'd find her. He never hit her, though. He always had one of his goons do it. And it was always you, Leo. Just so you know, I found her. I found her, and ever since, I've done everything in my power to make sure she's no longer a victim. Killing me isn't gonna stop this. No, but it's a start. And you better believe we will get him too, in due time. She doesn't have to hide anymore. I would say he should. But there's nowhere he can go without us finding him.
Is this the right one? Yep, that's the one. You know, we should probably invest in some real tools if we're gonna be breaking into buildings more frequently. I mean, we can always use my dynamite. You've had those since 1875, I doubt they're any good now. Plus, we're trying to be discreet. I was talking about the ones I got yesterday. Why would you buy more dynamite? You know, just in case. Crazy pyro. This is a television studio. It's probably recording the display for the online students. Makes sense. Are these pages from my diary? Oh, that's embarrassing. Curse those stupid archaeologists. Who do they think they are breaking into my castle, stealing my things just because they're old? Our castle? Putting my whole history on display. Well, at least they're not eating your mummified uncle. I thought we agreed to never discuss that era. Everything okay in there? Not exactly. Is that a rat? Stop, you thief! Is everything ready to go? Because we gotta get out of here fast. All systems go, Captain. Good, because. Oh crap! Get back here! It's gonna look like we uh, sold to them, isn't it? Most likely. That's a bigger offense, isn't it? Definitely.
Hey, <laughs> did you figure out where the rest of our belongings went? Yeah. Do I want to know? Just a little place called the Smithsonian. <laughs> no. We're so fucking obvious. No fucking. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh man. You can't write this shit. Huh. Sorry. Are you the lab courier? Uh, no, I'm, I'm Tyler Brinkley. I have a two o'clock appointment with Dr. Feldman. Oh, you know, you're a little early. The doctor's just finishing up with a patient. Your mom's already sent us everything. Go ahead and have a seat. We'll be with you in just a minute, okay? Do you have any questions? Is it gonna hurt? No, doctor is so gentle. He's one of the best at treating monochromacy. So Tyler, how long have you had it? What? How long have you been colorblind? All my life. Your mom told me you're an amazing artist. How do you do it? I sketch using charcoal. Uh, I want to oil paint using colors, so... Hello, Tyler. I'm Dr. Feldman. Come on back with me. Hey, Tyler. Nice meeting you. Take your jacket off, get comfortable. Jump right up there. Thanks. You're welcome. How are you feeling today? Uh, a little nervous. Oh, well, that's expected. So, I hear you like art. Yeah. So do I. Up. Let me tell you what you'll be doing today. I'm going to inject medicine into each of your eyes which will stimulate the color cones. Then, we'll cover your eyes for 24 hours. Tomorrow, we'll remove the patches and fit you with a pair of specialized glasses. If all goes well, you'll begin seeing color right away. Cool. However, there is one thing you need to know, Tyler. It doesn't always work. I've seen complications with some of the patients, including temporary blindness. There's also been Adverse psychological effects. It's very rare, but it does happen. Would you like to think about it? Yeah. Yeah. Take your time. I'll be right outside. Pick me up now. I'm, I'm not gonna do it.
beautiful, isn't it? The painter is Francois Moreau. He's one of my favorite artists. What colors are in it? Every color in the rainbow. So, what do you think? I want to do this. It doesn't always work, it doesn't always work, it doesn't always work. No! How are you feeling today, Tyler? Are you experiencing any pain? No. Now, it's very important that once we get these patches off, you keep your eyes closed tightly. Then, I'll put on a pair of glasses and ask you to open them. Are you ready? I think I am. Is it gonna work? We'll find out soon enough. Now, open your eyes and take a look at the picture on the wall in front of you. Nothing's changed. It didn't work. No, 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 no. Just give it a minute. Let your eyes adjust. What do you see now, Tyler? It's amazing. I had no idea. I'll get your mom. <laughs> Is it what you thought it would be? No. No, it's... It, it's so much more. <laughs> Thank you.
Sorry. Um, did I wake you? Oh, shit. Sorry. Fuck. Um, yeah, no, no, I'm okay. It's, it's nothing. It's just, um, um, I'm probably just overreacting. Um, I probably shouldn't have called you. Um, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. No, I'm at his house. On the porch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Sorry it took us so long to get here. What the hell happened? Wendy. He's been going out late and disappearing sometimes. And I call him out and he said I was being paranoid. I just had this like gut feeling, you know? And it's like, oh God, I just... Get out of here. drive, Cal? I was parked. Yeah? You have fun in there, Cal? I had the time of my life. What did you say? I said I had the time of my life. Wendy, what's it fucking worth? Let's go. Don't act like the victim. What's that supposed to mean? I see the way that you look at her. I see the things that go on between you two. What are you, fucking gay? Don't be so stupid, Cal. You know they don't even... <sighs> he doesn't fucking get it. Let's go. God. Can you at least leave me the Oreos? I bought them. <laughs> Have a nice life, Cal. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's it's really not fine. Look, you don't need to be sorry to me. Come on, you know. You know you don't deserve it. Come on, let's get out of here. We can still make something of the night, right? Let's go to the spot. Yeah? Yeah, come on. I have wine. Alright, see? And Oreos. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's go. Like, I don't get what he was expecting. If you ask for grapes from a lemonade stand, you're not gonna get grapes. I don't know, maybe the duck is neurodivergent. Just like us, right? Quack, quack. <laughs> Something that shut me up, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm in love with you. It's not. I, it's not the right, I know it's not the right time. It's never gonna be the right time, but I need you to know. I am in love with you. I love you too. I'm scared, I'm so scared. I know.
swear to God, I am never taking a class this late again. If it weren't for you two, I would literally die of boredom. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. It's quiet and calming. Mm. So, just like my bed. <laughs> True, but it is nice to have this whole area to ourselves. Well, almost. Peyton's got a little boyfriend. Shut up. I can never date a deaf guy. <laughs> what? I heard he's not actually deaf. Why would anyone fake being deaf, Tori? I don't know. Disability checks? Or maybe he is as creepy as everyone says. What does everyone say? Okay, hold up. You said you wouldn't date a deaf guy? Those are like the best guys to date. They don't talk. They're good with their hands. Oh, yeah, shut up, <laughs> you're being too loud. What, it's not like he can hear me. He's deaf. Hey, look at this, watch. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> My friend wants to fuck oh, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hear me. He's deaf. It's like it never even happened. Oh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> All right, skanks. So Tim just got off work, so I'm out of here. So you coming home with me? Yes, please. Do you need a ride? Peyton? No. I'm gonna stay and finish my work. I can never get anything done at home with my brothers constantly fighting. Makes me wish I was deaf sometimes. <laughs> okay, skank. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night.
doing okay? You take one more step, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Hey, come to my office. Is that your mother? That's my wife. So, I was reviewing our sales recently, and it looks like you are our leading man. Really, sir? Yeah. You work hard, kid. I, I do, sir. I, I really do. Come in. <clears throat> I said creamer. I know, sir. They, they were out. Get out! We want to promote you. Oh, my... Thank you. I would love to. Under one condition. Are you aware that Cindy Lynn is trying to move her company to the building across the street? Now, she's been in the business for over 25 years, and she owns five of the biggest insurance companies in the U.S. Alabama. Yeah, sure. Arizona. Florida. Hawaii. New York. And now... California. I want you to kill her. Kill her, sir? Yes. Okay.
job. No, you're a hack. Absolutely. Give me one second. Come in. So? I did it. Proud of you, kid. Thank you. I brought you some coffee. Thank you. Oh.